publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine. We are off on our next adventure. We are going to Croatia for our 2023 winners of a trip of a lifetime. So excited. Yesterday we tried and didn't quite make it so we're having to split our vacation one day short but that's okay because we're still going to have a blast. We look forward to uh, getting all kinds of different video and pictures of the winners on this trip and having a wonderful time. So we're on our way to the airport now, and we look forward to reporting to you here soon. Hey, All right, guys, the winners are on this trip of a lifetime going to Croatia. We've got we Dan and Lori. Wait, it's going to be great. <laughs> And of course, we have Ray and Amy, our normal travel companions. <laughs> Loving them. They're with us today, Tahiti. Everybody say Croatia. We made it, baby. We're in Croatia. What do you think? Yes, we made it. Our back made it. <laughs> That's a big benefit. Okay, we're off on our trip. Wish us luck. What do you think? Woo! It's amazing. Was that, was, was that drive in? It's amazing. Wow. You see those Look those around. Still out there? Yeah. Gorgeous. Soak it in. Soak it in. Here we go. Let's go swimming. Yeah. The mola. The mola. Welcome mola. to the vacation of a lifetime. Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine, and I'm excited to be in Croatia. This is the trip of a lifetime, and I'm here with our winners of the 2023 Croatia giveaway. Dan and Lori Gaynor, how are you? Woo! Awesome. We're so excited to be here today. <laughs> what a great time. I think we're about six days into this trip so far. It was a little bit of a rocky start getting out of Detroit, but we finally got out of Detroit. We've been enjoying Milet, we've been to Corkalo, we're on Lopud today. Uh, we've been all over the place so far. What's your experience been like so far? How do you like it? So for me, this is awesome because we have never been to Europe before. And so for us, this is a trip of a lifetime. We have been looking forward to this trip since we found out that we were the winners back in February maybe. Mm -hmm. But um, the scenery, the people, the food, the companionship has been stellar. It's been awesome. Well, you guys almost didn't go on this trip. You know that, right? Right. Yeah, we are the, the most luckiest third place winners Fourth. of all time. Fourth. Fourth. Place winners. So, <laughs> oddly enough, Dan and Lori and I know each other back from Toledo. We drew three names. We gave everybody the 48-hour wait period. Nobody responded. The fourth name, Melanie, randomly picked your name, and she told me who it was, and I'm like, oh, wow, that is incredible. So we're super glad that you guys were able to come join us on this vacation. So uh, Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine, how did you hear about it? Other than knowing me, when did you learn about these trips, sign up for it? What happened? Well, Lori's been submitting our name for years. I mean, we've been uh, reading Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine for years. We've been boaters uh, in the Toledo area and uh, Lake Erie boaters. And uh, it's, yeah, it's always been something we've always looked at. I bring it home. We always have a copy in the house. And uh, 
Lori's the one actually that just keeps submitting our names and finally it paid off. So <laughs> really, really excited about this. This is a trip of a lifetime, really amazing. Lori, tell me what Epic. your favorite part of the whole trip was because we've been to multiple different places. I know that after this trip is over, you and Dan are going to go on another excursion in Italy for like a ten week, days. 10 days. Mm -hmm. So, so far, you've been here five, six days. Um, what's been your most, the biggest highlight of the trip for you? So for me, I just love being on the water and we did bring rafts with us because everywhere I go, I love to take my raft with me. So the other day we were near a submarine tunnel and where was that at? Uh, that was on Toslavo. Lostavo. Lostavo. Lostovo. 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 And and honestly, the water was clear as could be. The scenery was beautiful. There wasn't a whole lot of boats out there. And then we had our rafts and we were just floating around and enjoying the sunshine. And to me, just relaxing after a busy year so far has been probably the most amazing to me because I love the clear water. Some boats were there. These mega yachts, we are like surrounded by in almost every single harbor we go to. And as Los Tovo, there were plenty there as well. So that was pretty cool. Yes. I, I thought, and I loved that place as well. I Dan, did. what about you, brother? What was your favorite part of the trip so far? So far, um, yeah, it's just the incredible blue water, the um, the islands, the over 1,100 islands here along the coast of Croatia. Uh, did a little research and was excited to come see it, and it's breathtaking. It's just absolutely amazing to, to cruise these blue waters and, and just be a part of this part of the planet. It's, it's amazing. I, I would say that... Uh, my the trip to Los Tovo is very cool. I would also add today's uh, what was it called the Lapud. 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 There's a little village town uh, um, on the water, and it's just it, it's there's no cars. It's mm -hmm. just it's like a throwback to you know thousands of years ago. It's just gorgeous, just beautiful. People are all very nice and very cool. Well, we really got to thank Navigari Yachting. Uh, Navigari gave us this beautiful 42 foot. Uh, lagoon sailboat that we've been cruising around on although we haven't been able to do a whole lot of sailing because in July there's not a whole lot of wind uh, we did get out a couple of times and had absolutely epic sails going back and forth between these islands and every island it seemed like it took us like three to four hours to get to so it was a perfect time get there enjoy the island enjoy the nightlife I'll tell you what when we were in Corkola uh, the the whole downtown area was absolutely gorgeous to me the yes. old town Cordova. Yes. Uh, where that's we where the Marco bikes. Polo. No, that's where Marco Polo was born. Oh yes. Yeah. Corchula. 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 I'm sorry. I, I'm Corchula. bad at these names, but I really like that just because yeah, the historic yeah. feel of it and uh, knowing that Marco Polo was there is a little inspiring. And then uh, Lori, tell us about the whole bike trip that we took over there on Milliet. Ooh, Milliet. So we took the little dinghy to 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 the port yep and we uh, rented some electric bikes which was very fun and we went through the national forest yep yeah and from the national forest we took a nice little tour we did get to stop and jump in the pristine waters and um there were inland lakes that were seawater yeah lakes that were connected by a fast moving canal that we got to float through oh that, that was something? fun that was something <laughs> that was epic so out of all the trips that you've taken in your lifetime, could you say that this is a trip of a lifetime? Absolutely. Absolutely a trip of a lifetime. Absolutely. Dan, I'm not convinced, brother. I mean, <laughs> We've taken some cool trips. I, mean, this I know you've done there. some pretty cool um, trips. Is absolutely. This... I would say trip of a lifetime. This right. is, absolutely yes. trip of a lifetime. I this has it. got to be I the most it. fabulous trip that we've ever taken. We met some new friends while we were on the boat. Ray and, and also, yep, Ray and Amy. Give a shout for Ray yeah. and Amy. Yeah. Woo! They were the winners oh, before. Yeah. And actually, you know, being able to sail with you guys and you, ex you get to, getting to experience this with you guys because we've yeah. known you for 20 years, right? Yeah. And yeah, we yeah. were just like flabbergasted that, that we were chosen. We thought you were joking. <laughs> Eric's a jokester, so we thought he was joking. I was like, there's no way I could ask them. Everybody's going to think it's rigged. But then I was like... He legitimately got it. I got to call him. And you guys were in St. Thomas at the we time. We were in St. Thomas at the time. We got the call. We couldn't believe it. We couldn't believe it. Uh, we had some plans to do some traveling. And then, and then, oh, darn, this trip came up and spoiled our plans. It was amazing. It's just, <laughs> it couldn't have been any more 
surprising and enjoyable and amazing to just get that news. So Now, when you get back into port, and we're going to head over there in a little bit, we're out of Dubrovnik. We went out and came in, and I guess there's three different areas. So the Dubrovnik port is kind of the southern port of Croatia. Split is kind of the middle port, and there's actually another one, Trangir or something like that, up in the northern part. So that's you get to see all those different groups of islands. But we're in Dubrovnik, so we kind of circled around the southern uh, cities down here. Um, you guys are going to be there for a couple of days after we get back, yeah. going through the old town right, and right. going to the Game Sporting of Thrones and all that down. stuff. Yeah. We're going to sit on the Iron Throne. We're going to go around the walls of the castle. We're going to experience some of the food, maybe mm -hmm. get some of the dinner under the bell. Uh, we got some good recommendations from a lot of the folks that we met here yeah. in Dubrovnik because yeah. they're friendly and welcoming and give very good suggestions of would things you, to Would do. you come back to Croatia? Is that something oh, definitely. that... There's so much to see here. Yeah. I mean, we've just scratch the surface i feel and uh yeah i would love to you know, the, take another trip maybe up north see some of the other yeah. islands I and mean, there's so many of these each one of these bays and coves kind of has their own little personality and uh it's just amazing to experience the water and the and the atmosphere and the you know what's set up on the little towns or beaches it's, what amazes me is that <laughs> italy is what not even 100 miles to the west of us here and you guys are going to be taking that long ferry to get over to the other side uh, but uh, it, it's so close. It shares the Adriatic Sea with Croatia. And um, the history, uh, they have the second largest man-built wall in the world right here in Croatia. It was up by stone where we were mm -hmm. uh, earlier yesterday. Uh, and just, just the whole vibe is kind of oh, yeah. very historic. We went into a church yesterday when we were, or two days ago when we were in Korkola or Korchula, and uh, it was built in the 1100s. Yeah. So, like, that's 1,200 years ago, which is kind of amazing to see that. Anyway, so I just uh, want to thank you guys for coming aboard with us. I hope, again, that you enjoyed your trip and that it was a trip of a lifetime. It was amazing, and we want to thank you guys for having us because yes. it, it was truly a blessing to be able to come here and enjoy this beautiful experience. So we thank you. Well, if you get a call from us that you want a trip of a lifetime, Pick call us back. Phone. Email us. Let us know that you want to go. Our next trip is probably going to be down to uh, the British Virgin Islands or somewhere here soon. Be on the lookout for it. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Trip of a lifetime, 2023 Croatia. Mm. Woo!